Right, okay, insurance fraud done properly. This is the most difficult mission in the game, uh, at least for part one. It's so hard. Um, Optimisation is key to the max. This is going to be a starting point, and what I'm going to do is walk you through this in order of where you go. So you start with this car, and you're going to need to drive it up here. These wooden planks need to be placed, and the wall needs to be taken down. Um, you can do it without but as I said before, optimization is the key. So you're really, really going to need to make as much of you ca as you can of like everything possible. Uh, wooden planks across here because maneuvering in this game without analog control is very difficult in a vehicle and take this pillar down. The glass has to go, the metal rails have to go, and I've drawn these yellow lines. This one here to the left is the right, is the right one to follow. The whole wall has to go through and every single bit of debris has to be chucked away or blown up by additional bombs. All of the grass has to go. I'm sure you can do it without it, but I don't want to be that guy that spends time doing it with the grass there. Shotgun this out from the ceiling and pick up all of the debris from underneath the car because it will clog it up and this car is absolutely gash and it won't move um, with any kind of marks. I even put some wooden planks down just to help it. Now that's going to get sent over here to the pickup and that means two cars will be in there. You're going to jump out as it tread, as it flies past and you're going to get in this yellow car that's from here, from the marker. Um, we're going to drive this all the way through this massive hole that we'll make. Don't use bombs, don't use explosives, just shotgun it through and smash it through with the sledge and chop it through because you want the floor to be intact. All the glass has got to go, the metal as much as possible and I've even put some wooden planks down. Pick up the uh, stupid little, like, whatever they're supposed to be, like the, the, the bollards with the, the, the rope on it because they can get caught and you can leave the car as it is, but again, get rid of some grass, optimise it, get some wood down and this is what the room needs to look like here. This sports car is going to get smashing straight through here into the pickup trailer. At this point, um, you will have three in, so you'll have the first one, the second and that one. These two vehicles, you're going to jump in and you're going to drive them over the mark. Now, I brought them over using the crane. This bit, I'm not going to add any additional video footage to this one because I want to keep it short. You can watch my original video, which I did use the what was termed as a glitch by the developers um, to get them like over here and, and to, to win it, but it, it still stands. You can watch the footage and it, it shows how to do it. We use the crane for the red car to attach a plank first of all to the explosive and then to just drag them up with the crane. And then for this green car, I don't know what it's supposed to be, some kind of Mustang thing, we're going to use the crane to take it from this bit just ahead in the far distance, there is the muscle car is on like a, a helicopter pad. Um, you use the crane to pick it up, supporting it with planks and drag it over. As I say, you can watch the other video to watch the detail on doing that. Um, I'll have tips and tricks videos up, uh, depending on when you watch it, they'll be there or they'll be there in the future. So um, you can always watch that for some support. So you go straight into this bad boy, reverse it, then into the green car and then you reverse that. Then we've positioned that vehicle, um, the red like, saloon car, which you would get in and drive all the way over here. Now, the sooner you realise you're going to have to take all of this grass out, the better your experience will be. And I really don't want to be the guy to tell you that, but literally do it and just get, just get it done. Uh, just for the record, that's where the green car is and the crane was down the ramp to the left. Now, um, this vehicle up here is like a, a jeep, so it's not it's not too difficult to drive over the grass and over dodgy surfaces, so that helps us a lot. You're going to drive it forward and you're going to position it so it's going to drive straight through the gap in the elevator and the support strut. If you want to line it up, draw a yellow line on the floor with the, um, the spray and if you look up you can actually see it. And then you're going to shotgun all the way around it and leave one tiny bit at the far edge, so 6 o'clock from my position, ready for that. You're going to drive that to about here and you're going to just dump it. You press E to jump out when it's in a straight line and then you're going to run left into here. Now this is bomb central. You're going to have to clear the whole thing out. There's a floor above, um, there's the car above, all of this has got to go. Um, the wall at the back's got to go so it doesn't clip. All of this has to go on this side. Don't try and do any other direction. Just do the direction that I've got here straight out. Um, you're going to have to pick up the debris. You're going to have to get rid of the glass, uh, the glass, the grass, the metal, 
the wood, all of it has to go because this Lambo thing, man, it does not like going on, on smooth surfaces. So we're going to use the um, elevator to get up to the top and you're going to shotgun around the car. Leave a decent space around the car and then you're going to use a pistol to make the back bit of the car um, the bit furthest to the top right of the screen now just leave one tiny strut in it underneath you're going to dump some debris right underneath and put some planks down quick save shoot test see if it lands well um, and then obviously save it the reason for that is the Lambo doesn't like to land properly and it sits on the debris and you can't get it off once you've done that, you'll drive the Lambo straight out here and you will send it straight towards that Jeep, uh, sorry, that pickup truck, and you'll jump straight into it. And that should be jobs are good. But this one, even with the optimizations, with everything in place, you are going to find it moderately to highly difficult to get it to work. Um, I hate to say that, but it is, it is awful, this one. It's the hardest one in the game. There's too much RNG. So you're just going to have to sit and pray to RNG. Right, so RNG is appraised. We get into the vehicle. You're going to clip off the side, but go slowly because if you bottom out, you will stop the car and you'll hit and you'll crack the ground. Dump it in line so it keeps on going to the trailer. Do the same in the pink truck, pink car, so it gets there and switch over to the dad mobile. You're going to drive the Dadmobile to the red sports car and using the ramps hopefully you'll get some speed and we're going to smash it straight in. For some reason it pops me up, which I shouldn't do, it's cost me a couple of seconds. And then we're going to put those two in. Now you can get to that point where you've put both in at 35 seconds, so I'm already 5 seconds down on this for my better run. Try not to miss and we'll drop the Jeep out. Drive the Jeep along your track and then line it up and dump it run straight into here where we're now going to shoot the ground from underneath the, um, underneath the Lambo. The ledge that I've put in should help to force it off its degree and then you can drive it very quickly and try and get it a bit closer than that, um, but that's it. So I've done that and I think it's probably 7 or 8 seconds in there spare. Um, I kind of banked on my other version where I cut the alarms off and I didn't even save this version of it before so this is the second time I've done it and I am not in the mood, I am not in the mood to, to like go back and continuously retry it but you can see where the optimizations are and I really hope this helps you out. Um, a big shout out to somebody on my channel called The Noob Life who put his video up before and um, there's a couple of things that I've taken from that that really helped um, especially since my other version was just manky um, and also please just destroy the grass like the, the quicker you destroy the grass and accept you're going to have to do it the better because you will spend 20 minutes trying to drive this over the grass before you realize you need to spend five minutes to remove the grass so just do that and um, if you're struggling with any of the vehicle drops do what i've done with the lambo and just put that underneath so that it kind of tips them off that ledge if you want to see how to get the vehicle up with the crane um then the original video I've now relisted on YouTube so you can see it and um, you can check out how I've done that. I'll also be putting up some tips and tricks videos for how to do some things in the game and that will be included in there so please check those out. If there's anything else you need help with on this one then let me know but as I say I think this is on the net like hands down the most difficult one in the game. So, um, I don't know if you're going for this for the first time, but I, I really hope that you put in the work and follow this strategy, it will help. Um, this one is all preparation, so every tiny little bit of what you do counts. Um, don't try and skimp on any, any aspect of it, just, just put the sweat in for the start. It's a 40 minute setup and it's, it's still another 20 minutes running it because you really have to rely on the RNG for it to work. Okay, good luck.